we have joked a little bit that you know we resemble sometimes Mobile, right? Mobile for for motorbikes. And I told you before that it's the other way around, right? I think that Mobile is basically the right vision for cars. But who argues? In any case, thank you very much. Uh, right vision develops a collusion avoidance technology for motorbikes. If you really think about that, clicker, please. Okay, try again. Okay, thank you. There are 460 million existing motorbikes across the globe. And every year, we have additional 100 million units added. Yet, as Ilel mentioned, motorbikes accounting for almost 400,000 fatalities a year. It's a staggering number. But hey, guys, it's not a surprise. We operate a very exposed and open vehicle. And you can see here, this is an electric bike by ASCO that it has been built specifically for urban deliveries, for last mile delivery, for urban environment. It's very exposed, very lightweight. And of course, the statistics says that we have 28 times chances to die in a motorbike accident in car occupant. And these numbers will only grow because there's growing urbanization and growing congestions on the road. By the way, those two require better personal mobility, better last uh, delivery mobility as well. And Ride Vision is the only company that addresses the two-wheelers, the motorbikes, whether they are new or retrofitted. Now, the system is very simple, very elegant in terms of the components, but pretty much complex in terms of the software it needs to run. I will explain in a second why. Uh, can we have a cameraman? to come in and show the, um, here, the equipment. Okay, so the system is built out of two cameras. Front camera is here, and the rear camera is here, and the brain unit is in the middle. So very simple and elegant, three components. The software, though, has to be very complex and sophisticated because a motorbike is a completely different creature on the road. First, it vibrates all the time. It tilts up and down, in rows to the left, rows to the right, leans to the left, leans to the right. And have you seen the craziness that goes here in Israel? How people ride? They come very close to the cars, right between the cars, lane splitting, okay? And this is exactly why the software has to be unique, because it has to predict the unique maneuverability of the bikes. And only after predicting the, the unique trajectory of the bike, we can actually understand and say, what is the real problem? What is the real hazard uh, to, the, uh, to the biker? Now, the alerts have been de delivered in two ways. First is audio alerts delivered via Bluetooth to the helmet of the biker, only at the critical sections. In addition, we have visual al alerts that have been delivered to the biker as well. You can see here small additions, small LED additions that have been put on the mirror. These are least distracting alerts that we can deliver to the biker. Now, let's see some demo how the bike operates in the real environment. Are we ready? Okay. So what you, have, what you see here is basically a footage uh, that has been captured on the real ride. And we're going to run that through the brain unit and screen out to the screens. On the left side, we see the forward camera, the forward footage. And here on the right side, we see the uh, rear footage. Now, as we screen it out, the system will run the alerts and will deliver that in two ways. First, we will augment here the, uh, the footage for you to understand the alerts. Of course, I will talk that through. But also, we are going to deliver the alerts here, and we will explain them, how actual ride looks like to a biker. So let's hit it and start. So the bike starts run, uh, run like a car, by the way, after another car, and when he speeds up, the first alert, what we are going to see is a distance skipping, or a violation of a distance skipping. So at that point, coming very close to a car, distance skipping, the, alert, the red LED mirror extensions are going to fire on. That means that we are very close, 0.6 seconds until the next vehicle. And then as we continue, there are blind spots that are being fired to the bike. I'll talk about that extensively in a second. A very important alert. So another distance skipping. And now will be something interesting as the left car on the left side bypassing us and continue to, to, to drive, the biker will try to come very fast to that car, 
will create a distance keeping, but he will not adhere to that distance keeping. He will continue to, uh, to advance. And at that point, a forward collision will fire by blinking very, very fast, and the audio cue will be raised to the helmet. Now, as we continue to drive, let me explain why blind spots are really important here and different from a car. Because as a biker, you sit in that exposed environment, and you need to use your head to the left and to the right to see what's going on. At 100 kilometers an hour, this is about 30 meters a second of a progression. Moving your head for half a second is about 15 meters that you're losing. So our blind spots are walking uh, predictively, sometimes to about 20, 25 meters back, notifying the biker on the potential cars that overtaken, and only if there is a clear trajectory that comes very close to the bike. By the way, what we're going to see uh, now is that unique pattern of lane splitting or maneuvering between the cars. As the car approaches here uh, to the uh, junction, you will see in a second that first the biker was uh, pretty confident, so he will not try to brake. Uh, and at that point, a forward collision will fire again, and then he will brake. And what I want to show you now is how he maneuvers between the traffic. So look at that. That's the unique pattern we're talking about. And there are no alerts here, because despite that, that looks quite dangerous, there's a clear trajectory for the bike to pass. And that's exactly what right vision does. We understand that predictive trajectory, and based on that, we generate the alerts. This is another lane splitting, a bit more modest, but again, shows you the application. Let's switch to the slides, please. Thank you. So the product, as you can see, is ready. We are launching our aftermarket product in H2 in the second half of this year. And of course, as mentioned, this technology is on not only for motorized vehicles, but also for others. Uh, the same structure, the same problems of tilt tilting up and down, rolling to the left uh, and right, riding in congested environment is bicycles and scooters. And that's the same set of algorithms that Ride Vision uses to address the same problem. So definitely the market is wider and bigger. Thank you very much.